Hey everybody, Jake here, and I actually have a couple of quick unboxings today, one of which I have no idea what it is, and the other one uh, should be something very special and very meaningful to me. Let's go and open the one that I don't know about first. Um, I think I know what this could be, but I didn't receive a tracking notification for this, so I'm not positive. Um, so let's go ahead and see, It's whatever it is, it's, it's right in this area. So I'm going to kind of slice around that. Okay. Let's see what we've got in here. It's in a it's in a small pouch, whatever it is. Hmm, what could that possibly be? Something roughly that size and that shape. I'm I'm just not sure. No, all joking is I, uh, <clears throat> I sliced off the corner of the bag on accident, um, I'm, I'm sorry. So, since I've created an alternate opening, we're just going to slide whatever it is up out of there, um, if I can get it to, to do that. Maybe if we go this way? Come on, you could do it, I believe in you. Oh gosh, okay, this is awesome. So this here is, um, I, and I really didn't receive a tracking notification for this, this is a little slip joint from S&W Metalworks. Um, they have been doing these, these fairly affordable, honestly, um, slip joints, and they're, they're very interesting. I haven't seen anything like them. I'm not a huge fan of slip joints, but I've been looking to try a few more. And this is kind of right up my alley as far as design, and this color scheme is amazing. Um, so it's an orange and black uh, handle, and then the blade is blue. Let's see how this... Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's almost like a friction folder kind of thing. Um, so it is it is fairly easy to open. It does take a little bit more force to close it just because of that, that large uh, barrel in the back so this was fifty dollars um, it's I believe it's 1095 carbon steel um, with steel handles and it's just kind of a folded piece of steel I guess to save money a little bit but it's a very very interesting interesting little knife there's only one screw it's there's a pivot screw on this side um, and there's nothing over here just a little hexagonal shape so this is just a, a very intriguing little slip joint knife. Um, it's, it's just kind of weird, you know? Can I open it with this? So you can kind of, holy crap. It takes a lot of effort though, I wouldn't do that. So um, kind of a one hand-ish knife. Probably a two-hand knife. Let me take a look, because I'm seeing some fit and finish issues here already. That I'm not a big fan of. Um, okay, so just right off the bat, where this uh, where this little steel cylinder is riding along this orange, you can kind of see it's already wearing away some of the paint. That's not great. There's also some smudging down here, it looks like. Um, it just looks kind of dirty. It doesn't look like this actual paint, but... Again, I'm not sure. Um, same effect on the back side as well. Overall, it's, it's not bad, especially for $50, um, considering the uniqueness of it. But that paint wearing off right on here is going to really start to irritate me. Looks like there's also like a... The paint's coming up a bit right there at the, the corner of that blue one as well. Or the, the mid part of the blade. Um... And this, as you cut, this is probably going to get worn away like crazy. So, because it doesn't appear to be the most durable, it's definitely painted on. Mmm. I don't know what to think of this. I will definitely, you know, give it a fair chance. Yeah, it definitely takes a bit of. Can you kind of pinch it and then roll it open? So, yeah, you, you can open this one handed if you absolutely had to, for sure. Um, 
such, just such a weird knife. And um, as a quick size comparison, I don't have much around me right now. Here is the Buck Marksman. So this is a little, little knife for sure. Let's go ahead and use it to open up this other package then. So this is something that is actually uh, very, very important to me. Um, they went on sale recently and I couldn't help myself from, from purchasing one. It is sharp, I'll, I'll give them that. It's certainly a very sharp knife. This is from a company called Ook Forge. Um, seems like a an okay guy. Um, they make a lot of very unique stuff. I'm really, really intrigued by this packaging, this giant rubber band looking thing. It's this is pretty cool. Let's see what we've got inside. Oh, let me go ahead and take off this whole. That's a big ass rubber band. Move that over there. What is that? What the hell is this? This is not what I ordered. They they completely cocked up my order. Um, I'm not trying to be a dick, but this is just insane. They would... I don't even know what to do with this. Really? Really? Oh my god. It's almost like it's a slingshot that you would grab kind of like this and, uh, you know, shoot things out of it, which is just worse. It also appears that there may be a very convenient bottle opener at the hit at the um, end of it. I'm gonna have to return this. I just I, I can't have this in my possession. This is this is just too much. Um, to anyone out there who is watching this video and, and got offended just now, I apologize. I'm offended as well. Okay. That's going to be it for today, guys. I'm, I'm sorry you had to see that. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.